so our students learning outcome is use adjectival phrases in speech and writing now we have already learned about adjectives now it's time to understand what are adjectival phrases phrases that contain adjectives now this is what we are supposed to do in both our speech and in our writing we will be using adjectival phrases now here is a vertical linkage of this SLO with the previous grade uh, SLO that you have already covered. My dear learners, here in this brainstorming session, we have a very quick activity for you. You have to answer what is a phrase and can you give any example? Now, you have already studied phrases and now I think you can easily come up with the answer. Now, moving on, let's talk about adjectival phrases. A group of words that describes a noun or pronoun in a sentence at what kind and which one the pronoun is. Now, adjective phrases are group of words, first thing, and this group of words describes noun in a sentence it tells us what kind and which one the noun or pronoun is it consists of an adjective plus any modifier uh, let's say adverb and we can see an adjective phrase modifies or gives more information about a noun or a pronoun and it does it does the work of an adjective no. Just like adjectives give us more information about the noun or the pronoun, similarly, adjectival phrases, which is a group of words, it also tells us more about the noun or the pronoun. And, my dear learners, it consists of an adjective plus any modifier that we'll, we will be adding in the adjectival phrase to make it an adjectival phrase. And then we can say that adjective adjective phrases or adjectival phrases modifies or give more information just like the adjective single handedly does now let's see what does an adjective phrase include adjectives then any adverb or which we call modifiers because it is modifying the adjectives and then conjunctions now, this is how you make uh, any adjectival phrases. Let's look at some examples. The black and white box was the pride of her collection. Now, the uh, black and white, we know it is our, these are our adjectives and followed by our noun, now was the pride of her collection. The days are becoming increasingly longer. Now, increasingly is our adverb and long is our adjective. So, this whole is an adjectival phrase because it includes adjective and an adverb increasingly and also uh, this makes it a complete adjectival phrase. She saw Three sleek gold sports car. Now, this whole part is our adjectival phrase because it includes more information and modifiers in the form of three sleek and our adjective and sports car, which is our noun. Give me two very good reasons. 
2 over here is also our modifier. It's telling us more about uh, the adjective. And now this makes it an adjectival phrase. Now, let's talk about adjective phrase. Now, in attributive noun, let's say we have some examples over here. He was wearing a dark brown suit. Now, this is the brown suit is these are words are adding to our adjective and it's attributing and adding attributives of the noun. We read a thick English dictionary. They often drink a black hot coffee in the morning. The adjective phrases a dark brown and a thick English and also a black hot modifies the noun. So, when we use uh, adjective simply, it tells us information, but with adjectival phrases, adding some more words with our adjective, it also gives us more information and it ultimately modifies the noun. So, in these three examples, you can see that a dark brown, a thick English over here, and a black hot. All these are modifying our nouns, and this sentence is what we call an adjective phrase. <clears throat> now, let's see that can we add adject uh, adjectival phrases after our linking verb? Sana is a diligent student. Now, diligent student is our adjectival phrase. She looks or seems or feels happy lady. They appear, remain, become. All these words can be used. A good leader. It looks or tastes or smell delicious food. Now, after our linking verb, we can add our adjective phrases to make it look like an adjectival phrase which gives us more information about our noun and also our pronoun. Now, an adjective phrase may be modified by an adverb and the adverb will be called our modifier. My very cute little daughter. In this example, this adverb very is adding up in our adjective phrase and ultimately giving us more information. Your lovely honest brother. Lovely is an adverb, a very luxury new car. Again, we have an adverb. So, very luxury new car. So, these uh, adverbs, when they add with our adjectives, they make our adjectival phrases. Now, challenge yourself. Find adjectival phrases in this text. A text is given in front of you. Now you have to read the text and find adjectival phrases. Now it's time to watch the simulation video. You can watch it later. You will learn more about adjectival phrases and how you can form them to use in your speech and in your writing. For your classroom activity, my dear learners, from page 23 of your book, you have to read the extract. In pairs, one peer reads the reads and the other listens and highlights the use of adjectives in it. Underline the adjective, adjectival phrases from it and use them in your sentences. Now, moving on with our worksheet that is attached, it can be found in the resources. You will be solving this worksheet to put your knowledge and um, understanding of using adjectival phrases in practice. For your homework, you have to make sentences using adjectival phrases in your notebook. You can make as many sentences as you like. We are here at the end of our resources uh, with some resources like worksheet, presentation, skill sheet, lesson plan and also a question bank. All these are available in the description of the video. You can also access them easily through your, uh, through your uh, QR code where you can find this video and find them ultimately uh, easier.
Thank you for listening, my dear learners. I hope that you have completely grasped the concept of using adjectival phrases where we learned about what is a phrase, how we can make adjectival phrases by adding modifiers and other group of words to actually modifying or giving more information about nouns or pronouns. Till the next video lesson, Allah Hafiz.